The PWI 500 came out this past week. Always a fan of a fan of that. Uh, WrestleFeed.app on threads. Pro Wrestling Illustrated has revealed their PWI 500 list for 2024 evaluation period from August 1st, 2023 to July 31st, 2024. And undisputed WWE champion Cody Rhodes has topped the list. Below are the top 10 wrestlers on the list. One, Cody Rhodes. Two, Swerve Strickland. Three, Will Ospreay. Four, Seth Rollins. Five, Tetsuya, Tetsuya Nato. Six, Damian Priest. Seven, MJF. Eight, John Moxley. I knew it. Nine, Gunther. And ten, Mystico. Buddy, what are your thoughts on this list here? The top ten overall. Did the PWI get it right? Yes, but for the last two years, we had this debate. About two years ago, it was Kenny Omega. Last year, it was Roman Reigns. My biggest question was, what's the time frame? You just said it. What's the time frame again? Yes. we. So that I thought about that, too. That's why I chose this one. Uh, it's from August 1st, 2023 to July 31st, 2024. All right. Nice. Yeah. I mean, who better than Cody Rhodes following his story? Yeah. Getting back to somehow get title contention. Contention. Ending his story, starting this new one. Yeah, I, I just I thought he did a good job. It's a good pick, and of course, for Swerve Strickland, killing over there in AEW, signing that lucrative contract. I think this is a great top two. Probably one of the best they had. I I think this is probably the most accurate top ten I have I've seen in quite some time. That's fair. You know, like I, I'm looking at this, and I, and I've been looking at this, and I've been wondering, like, oh, is there anything I would change? Is there anyone else that that's more deserving to be in the top ten? Uh, especially given like the, the time frame that they gave, um, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see it. It's tough. Top ten, yeah. It's a, uh, it's close. It's hard to not. And if you do pick somebody else, who do you drop from this list? Exactly. Who do you who do you drop? Uh, let's talk about Damian Priest number six, man. What a year he's had. Yeah, right. Good for him. Big fan yeah. of his. And he's coming out to his own this year. El Campion. Great year for him. Especially that time. Frame. Yeah. No, definitely good to see. I and I feel like I feel like if I didn't see the time frame, I'd be like, uh, Gunther, Damian Priest, you should switch that. But I I, I understand why they have it the way it is. The, the way it is. Gunther at nine. Yeah, because, you know, uh, David Priest won this championship within that time period, cashed it in within in that time period. Gunther had great showings. Like he was my wrestler of the year last year, but he never had any solid feuds. He would wrestle one guy, and then two months later, he's wrestling somebody else. Uh, but he's champion. Is he champion? No, it's the end of the time frame, right? So, uh, nine's a solid pick for him. Nine's a solid spot for him, I should say. Is it crazy to think that Roman Reigns isn't on there at all? We're not batting an eyelash. No, because he's we haven't seen him since April. He took April, May, June, July. He hasn't wrestled. So this, since... this this from this from August twenty twenty three. WrestleMania was twenty twenty four. You know, so like, yeah. but we have we haven't seen him much in between that. We haven't seen him much in this last twelve months. Did he do anything to Roy Rumble? Uh, Survivor, uh, Survivor Series was the uh, Bloodline, was it? Uh, bloodline. What was Survivor Series? Was it War Games last year? Or something? He did something last War year. Ga- War Games, yeah. It did. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't done much since. He did War Games, Royal Rumble, I think another match here, and then WrestleMania. So I'm okay with nothing. I'm okay with nothing in the top 10. Interesting. Interesting. Again, a big chunk of that, a quarter of this time frame, he hasn't been there. So, I'm okay with it. And, but meanwhile, I, I, does the list really mean anything? Like, it, Cody Rhodes says yes, right? Um, and I understand that logic. But Roman Reigns is not in the top 10, yet he is the biggest superstar in all of wrestling. I He probably, I can't confirm this, but most likely the, the highest paid wrestler in the industry, if active wrestler. Tired. You know, and... and the modern day record holder for the world championship in WWE. Like, does the list even matter to him? I don't think so. If it did, he would be there more. Right? 
if he wanted to make be number one in the PWI, which he was last year, he would be like, oh, let me not take five months off, four months off. I don't think it matters to him. He's, he got his money. He's a great story. He's, he's cemented his place in history. I don't think he cares about this fucking list. No. I think the no. people. I think the people who make the list care. We've, we've seen people who have not made the list. They definitely they care. <laughs> and, but a lot of people say it's meaningless. They don't care. Of course, they're not on the list. So they, of course, they don't care. I think it's a huge deal if you make the list, especially with the in, like uh, from 100 under. I, I so feel 500 like... to 100 is great. No, I, well, I do. I do know some sign talent that does mean a lot. Like I, I, I have messaged some, and uh, in the past, it, it does mean something to them. You know, uh, I think Roman Reigns is that one or point one percent where it just really legit doesn't matter. You know, Cody Rhodes. You know, he talked about it. it clearly matters to him. I, I, I think it matters to most wrestlers. But when you're in that stratosphere of Roman Reigns, it doesn't it doesn't make a difference. You know, yeah. like uh, he, he's yeah, very the, fortunate. If you're on the list, you care. It's, if you feel like you should be on the list, I haven't made the list. You don't care. No, I feel like they do. Like, dude, tr- trust me. How, you're on Facebook. How many wrestlers do we know that don't make the list? They care. 